Hey guys, Leggy here and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about Terra Luna and oh, this is the most crazy thing that has happened in crypto since I've been in the space, I reckon, probably ever. Um, it sort of gives me BitConnect vibes, I'm not going to lie, but obviously this is like 12 to 14 times the market cap, so it's much bigger and affecting a lot more people. So if we look at the price of UST, which is Terra Luna's stablecoin which started all of this basically obviously a stablecoin is supposed to be pegged to the us dollar or this one is at least and that means that its value is supposed to be one dollar at all times a fractionally above and fractionally below at times but it is not doing that at the moment if we look at the price now it's 0.674 dollars and it's gone all the way down to roughly 0.35 dollars so yeah it's not looking good and it's a scary time to be in crypto because it seems like this has made the rest of the market tumble obviously with the uncertainty of the stable coin made by terra which is their main business model um luna has actually gone down by 92 percent so it's trading at a mere two dollars right now when it's max price only a couple weeks ago it broke all-time highs um it went over a hundred dollars so you know the demise is absolutely mad now what happened there's this deleted tweet but it says that uh, dover doquan ceo of luna blamed for ust dpeg on a coordinated attack with on-chain sales plus twitter fud before quickly deleting he also notes that one wallet is responsible for 62 percent of the 2.3 billion withdrawn so far so that was a couple days ago it got so much worse from that point that was when it was around like 0.94 and everyone was saying it was depegged but it's interesting that um, he thought there's a coordinated attack because there's some other theories around that I will go into in this video. So after this happened, Luna actually moved all their BTC. So this obviously created more fear because everyone was afraid that they would sell their Bitcoin they accumulated, dumping the price of Bitcoin. Now it then went pretty silent from the CEO for 72 hours, but he did produce an update yesterday but he basically said how they're going to go about fixing this is the only path forward will be to absorb the stable coin supply that wants to exit before ust can start to repeg there is no way around it we propose several remedial measures to aid the peg mechanism to absorb supply first we endorse community proposal 1164 to increase baseball from 50 million to 100 million sdr Decrease pool recovery block from 36 to 18. This will increase minting capacity from 293 million to 1,200 million dollars. Now this is where the juicy gossip comes in, you guys. So basically, Charles Hoskinson, which is the um, a major part of why ADA has been a success, and also there's been other sources which have reposted this. But he said BlackRock and Citadel borrowed 100k BTC from Gemini, it appears on their loan book, they swapped 25k of that BTC into UST, this was all done quietly in anticipation of the attack, when the time was right they called up Do Kwon at Terra Foundation and said they wanted to sell a lot of BTC for UST, as it was a large trade they told him they wanted to move the market and asked if he would like to buy their large block of BTC at a discount for UST. Doquan took the bait, he gave them a huge chunk of UST, lowering the UST liquidity significantly. At that point, BlackRock and Citadel dumped all of the BTC in UST, causing la massive slippage and triggering a cascade of full selling in both assets. The real problem was BlackRock Citadel knew that Anchor, which holds a lot of Luna, was a Ponzi scheme. They offered 20% staking for Christ's sake, and this crash would trigger and this crash would trigger more withdrawals than Anchor can repay. These forced withdrawals and selling would trigger a massive sell-off in Lo Luna as we have seen, guys. <laughs> Thus, further breaking the $1 peg and wrecking the market further. BlackRock and Citadel can now buy the BTC back cheaply to repay the loan and pocket the difference. Meanwhile, billions of longs in Bitcoin VAR were wiped out. This was pure market manipulation. So guys, if this is true, it's absolutely mad. 
Um, but tell me what your guys' thoughts on this are, it, whether it's true or not, whether you guys believe this. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.